yeah, my dude. Harbor Freight Tools. Harbor Freight Tools are every freaking cheap kid goes to. So what is up? Gonna buy some freaking tools for the shit thing, as you know. Shit's always crapping out on me. First video recommended by Tony Baloney TV because my car always just dies on me. Ooh, sweet. Gonna... All right, so this is what we're going for because this is blue, my car is blue, and that's the size I need. And that looks cute. I give it a month with this ratchet. Seems about right. All right, let's go, man. So hopefully this should get me through this little piece right here. You'll see why I need them in a bit. You can do it here. Or does it start? Poor little neglected Mustang. It's so dirty in person. And if you can see it in the camera, just imagine that like three times worse. Cool. Let's get this thing open. So I got the alternator new one in here. I have a couple tools back there. Um, I failed to check that. I need a deep socket for this one right here. That's the only reason I had to go buy tools. I already took off the battery. Just need to take off the tensioner. Freaking stupid trash can guys doing their work. Thank you though for taking my trash. Lower it. I think the ones I got will clear it. What do you think? This way? Just yeah, it's just that one. Yeah, you could clear Because that's a 13, 13, 10 millimeter. 15 and those are eights so yeah let's get to it i just asked brian if he had a blade that's the most stupid question you could ask this kid because this guy always has freaking blades <laughs> see here we go gotta try to cut this open right here everybody just wants to come everybody wants some car parts here, hey car parts how how, Brian, how? I don't know how. Let's see if we can still preserve it. No, I think it's the best credit. Let's cut it. Okay. Oh, Maybe if you cut from there and like that in, just. There's something on my neck. Oh, it's a fly. It was a fly. Oh. I'm gonna wait for the sockets to pop out so I just locked my car again and I'm gonna go to my garage to find some like little clippers or something hey 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 come down sir yay and they're free now alright gonna go check if this is gonna save the day today so I'll hit you guys when we're back in my car all right guys if I'm real quiet it's because the lonchetta I just came through you know who the lonchetta is man it's a lady out here lonchetta came so yeah one thing I can say I like about my Mustang is that the front of the bumper I'm able to freaking just put my tools all the time here I don't know it's pretty nice so Ugh, we're back at the car Kind of hard to do this all one hand. Back at the car. 
got the tools, and hopefully this right here will clear. Success. All right, guys. So I'm gonna take this 15 millimeter off. 13, 13. Slide this back. You got a 10 right there. Make sure to disconnect your battery first before anything. And plus your tensioner, which is gonna be a 3H drives freaking uh, not socket, I mean ratchet. And then use like some type of leverage in order to release tension on this. So the ratchet should be going this way in order for that to move that way. And your belt will come off. And that's pretty much it. So let me get to it. I'll let you guys. So now that the nuts and bolts are broken loose, I'm going to be relieving the tension off of my belt in order to remove my belt. And I'll show you guys when I do that. Alright guys, so I relieved the tension from my belt and I just kind of left it hanging here. This just came straight off the alternator in order to make it easier for when I'm putting back the new one. So yeah, I'm just going to take this off, that, that, and that, and we should be mounting up the new one. So, update you guys once I am take everything off, pull off the old one and put it on the new one. Right, so I realized I forgot to address this part right here, I need to take off this connector, and I'm going to need a flathead for that. So I'm going to be heading back to my garage and come back in order to do it, because I'm doing everything in the street because I don't want to move the car. I'm not trying to stress out the battery and have to go get a new one off of AutoZone. So, I'll be back because I'd rather have all the tools ready and not have to go back when I already have almost everything pulled off because I'm not really trying to mess this up right here. In order to, be, to take this little piece off, just go from the black part, press up against the gray, put a bit of pressure on it and it should slide right out. And I'll show you guys when I pull this out. We have a success. So that pulls out and it's gonna go into your new alternator. So take care of this piece right here. Just gonna slide into the new one. Just goes in like that. So yeah, I'm gonna be pulling off this old one. I'll show you guys when I'm mounting on the new one. And here we go. Out with the old. Set that right there. Give it to my boy Raul for the, the core that he needs because he's the one who supplied him with the part. Shut out Raul. Alright, I'm gonna be grabbing the new one and be mounting it on there. So here we got the new new. And here we got the old one. And it's pretty cool that they supply a little manual, I guess, to help out people who haven't done this before who are not like really mechanically skilled I guess but yeah gonna be slapping this new one on tighten everything down put everything back into place and hopefully turning the car on and being able to finally move
So they're nice enough to supply you with a new nut, which is nice. Got the new kind of goldish one. This is the new one, this is the old one. Well, this looks relatively nice and new. I'm just gonna put this one on. Oh yeah, just gotta tighten it now. So I'll show you guys the ending product. No need to show you guys everything completely. Just gonna be putting the belt back on to this one and turning on the car. So the alternator's on. Put the belt back on. Tension's back on it. Put the red wire back on. Put this back on. And I've connected the battery now. So it's time to start her up and see what it do. All right, the most exciting part of the whole video. We're neutral. guys so now it's time for the drive so let's get it Oof. nice start up I feel like I no longer have to worry about anything sounds a bit better now a bit more healthier so far I don't see any check engine lights coming on well I already had one but I don't see anything funky last time all of my lights just went out I had a traction control light pop up my ABS shut off by itself which is a bit sketchy driving down the road with my girlfriend but everything seems fine at the moment battery level look completely good I would say it's a success. The last thing I'm gonna do is drive it around for a little bit, charge the battery, break in the alternator, and do another test on it to make sure everything's fine. But for the meantime, we could talk about the channel. What are my plans for the channel? First video up. My boy Tony actually told me I should start recording because my car always shits on me. And I guess I'm like kind of happy with the camera when I'm hitting his channel, but doing everything myself is a bit harder you know there's no one there to try to like impress or hype up or like give good content for it's pretty much just me at the moment but follow my boy baloney tv on youtube he's the one who actually inspired me and told me hey you should do it and well here i am i'm attempting it and welcome to my channel if you like the content, please subscribe, leave a like for more future videos. In order for you to freaking hear my loud ass car, and I'm hoping you guys can hear me over the car. But that will conclude this video. Thanks for watching. JDM Mustang signing out.